welcome or now to video number two. In this video I'm going to be talking you through a recipe I made, a recipe I tried recently for blackberry muffins. The recipe um, is from the Yeo Valley website, um, I'll put the link to that below, um, that's yeovalleyco.uk, um, that's a company, a UK company um, that produces yoghurt and butter and things like that. Um, so that's where I found this recipe. Um, I did the recipe, I made the muffins on the 20th of August 2019, so not that long ago, um, in a support session. Um, and so this is how I made them. Um, so you need two large eggs, you need 75 grams of butter, four tablespoons of natural yoghurt, 200 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin. It says here 100 grams of dark brown muscovado sugar. Now I'm trying to make my muffins and cakes healthy, so I'm aiming to cut back the sugar. So I didn't use 100 grams as the recipe stipulated. Instead, I cut the sugar down to, I think it's about 40 grams that I used, and that worked really very well. Um, obviously, if you want to use the full 100 grams, go ahead, that's what the recipe says. But I felt they didn't need that, and I, um, my ones are very healthy, as each muffin will contain about what, a teaspoon of sugar per muffin. So as I say, you can cut it back to about 40 grams. If you want to, you could even try cutting it back still further, and they seem to come out just fine. 100 grams of blackberries, halved if large. I added slightly more than 100 grams of blackberries because I like mine quite juicy, and I felt 100 grams wasn't quite enough. So you can play around with that a little bit. So you preheat the oven to 190 degrees. You place paper muffin cases into a 10 hole muffin tin. Melt butter and leave to cool a little, then beat in the yoghurt and eggs. Sift the flour with the baking powder and cinnamon. Mix in sugar and then egg, the egg mixture and blackberries. Stir to combine but do not over mix. Spoon into paper case, cases and spoon, spoon the mixture into paper cases filling about 3 quarters full and then cook for 18 to 20 minutes until well risen and golden. Um, my ones took about 16 minutes because I've got a very effective oven. So do check your oven because all ovens vary. Check about every 10 minutes. And obviously, um, the way of checking it, to check that they're done, you place um, a knife or a skewer, either a butter knife or a skewer, um, in... Well, I use a butter knife, but you can use a skewer or a sharp knife, any implement like that, and then put it in the middle of the muffin, and then if it comes out clean, then they're done, basically. Um... So yeah, I, I cook them on a lower rung of the top oven, and as I say, they took 16 minutes in my oven, so a bit less than the 18 to 20 minutes. I had them warm, they're particularly nice warm when they've just come out of the oven, it's so nice. So that's how you make them. Okay, I'm really, really into blackberries. Um, I have to say that blackberries are my favourite berry fruit. Um, and I'm absolutely addicted to them because they're in season at the moment um, in the UK and um, they're in season the whole of August until sort of mid-September. So yeah, every time I'm at the shop so I get a punnet of blackberries because they're just so nice. Um, like really sweet and juicy. I actually prefer them to raspberries. So yeah, and I made um, a, an apple and blackberry crumble actually um, for breakfast, believe it or not, on Monday. Um, it was a healthy crumble because I used wholemeal flour. You can make a crumbles um, healthy. I mean, all you need is just, for one person this is, um, one ounce of wholemeal flour, half an ounce of oats. Um, I used two teaspoons of butter, uh, one teaspoon of muscovado dark sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Well, actually, no, I used a bit, I think it's about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. But yeah, you put that all in a bowl and you crumble that up you know, to make a crumble, and then I just sliced a cooking apple, I peeled and sliced a cooking apple, put that in a baking dish with the blackberries, used about half a punnet of blackberries, and then I put the crumble on top, and then I baked that, and it took about 25 minutes, um, I think it was about, I can't remember what the oven was, I think it was 160 fans, something like that, anyway, but it was really, really nice, it took 25 minutes in my oven, and that was nice, I had it for breakfast, and it was a healthy crumble because I used wholemeal flour, and as I say, I only used one teaspoon of sugar, um, and just two teaspoons of butter, and that was really nice with Greek yoghurt. Um, let me know if you like blackberries, as I say, they're my favourite food, and I can't get enough of them right now. Okay, I, was, I told you I was going to show you the granola recipe I've been having recently, or granola um, cereals, so just I'm just going to get that. So, this is the, uh, the cereal that I've been having recently, it's Kellogg's. Uh, no added sugar, simply granola. 
um, it's a, and no artificial sweeteners either, because often things that don't have sugar in them, um, refined sugar that is, they um, add sweeteners instead, which if you ask me is a bit of cheating, and I'd uh, stay away from sweeteners like anything, you know, I'd rather have sugar than sweeteners if I could choose anyway. But yeah, so it hasn't got any added sugar and hasn't got any sweeteners in it. Um, this one I found in Tesco, um, as I say, it doesn't contain any added sugars. Um, the ingredients is, seri uh, ingredients is whole grain barley flakes, oats, whole white, wheat flour, date paste, sunflower oil, banana puree, natural flavourings, salt and barley malt extract. For sugar content, so, uh, so for a 40, um, for a 45 gram serving um, carbohydrates of which sugars, for, per 45 grams, it contains 5.9 grams of sugars, and um, so that would be like a portion size. Um, that's how much you get in a portion, you get about 5.9 grams of sugar, which isn't too bad. Um, that might be about, I don't know, two teaspoons maybe. Um, couple of teaspoons. What, per 100 grams, that would be 13 grams. So it's that is kind of edging up towards the high side. Um, so it's important to be aware of portion sizes. As I say, I, I stick to the 45 grams, but if you were to go over and have like a 100 grams, which is what some people do, that would be quite a lot of sugar. So although it says no added sugar it, it can be a little bit deceptive because it is still quite high in sugar um seven percent per uh, 45 grams i mean it's not as bad as they come some granola is a lot higher in sugar than this and as i say it's um un it's natural sugars but it's still sugar you know so it's something to have as a kind of treat it's not something i'd have every day maybe like about two times a week um, I did actually read an interesting article recently about granola. The original granola apparently was quite different to the granola that people consume nowadays. The original granola was actually made back in the 1880s by this doctor, I can't remember his name. It's when I was on Wikipedia and I was going, I went down this little rabbit hole and I was just randomly finding out about granola. And um, obviously the word granola um, is derived from the word, you know, granules. Because um, the original granola were granules, um, I think of bran, um, and it didn't have any sugar added at all. So quite different to the granola we know nowadays. Um, granola that we know nowadays tends to be very, very high in sugar because obviously they need the sugar to kind of cause it to clump together. I mean, even homemade granolas can be very high in sugar, often in a form of honey, which some people seem to think is healthier. But actually, no, it's not. It's still sugar. Sugar is sugar is sugar. You know, it doesn't matter what sugar it is, it's still sugar. Um, but, but granola does have this kind of sort of health food kind of image. People often think that it's a very healthy food, but that is actually a bit of a myth. It's not healthy in inverted commas i was reading an article actually i think it's the independent newspaper which said that actually granola should be thought of more as a dessert than as a breakfast and actually some granolas like a higher end of the range for sugar can contain as much sugar as a, as a piece of chocolate cake so it's something to bear in mind you know this granola here that i've got is fairly low in sugar but even this granola is still you know not exactly great you know it's, as i said i don't have it as a treat but, you know, it's nice enough. I wouldn't say this is my favourite. Maybe I do find it a little bit on the sweet side. And it's a little bit of a slightly sickly banana-y taste. Um, it's okay. I mean, I, d I don't dislike it, but I probably won't get it again. But it's okay, you know. It's, it's okay. Um, with um, some fruit, I added uh, strawberries and um, kiwi fruit to it. And um, I figured I added some Greek yoghurt and milk. And as I say, it was okay. And I'm planning on having it again later on this week. Some stewed blackberries and apples with a granola on top almost a little bit like a crumble so what what do you eat for breakfast as i say i normally have overnight oats that's my kind of go-to that's the kind of summer version of porridge and then in a, in a um you know transition onto porridge and when we get into winter i have a hardcore um coarse oatmeal steel cut oats pink cut oats a proper hardcore scottish style porridge that could take about 15 minutes to cook um so yeah so let me know in the box below what you tend to eat for breakfast because i'd be um very interested to know Okay, so I'm going to finish this video now, um, and as I say, I'll come back and speak to you again next Wednesday. I haven't decided what I'm going to talk to you about next week. Um, no, I really don't know. Let me know if you've got any video suggestions in the box below as well, because I would like to do some more awesome content at some point. But as I say, I don't know yet what I'm going to talk about next week. It might be food, it might be awesome. Who knows? I'll keep you guessing. Okay, so thank you for watching.